Sold that Super Nintendo that I listed yesterday for 120. It sold super quick. It's already been boxed because I knew it was gonna sell so fast. We actually boxed it like right after. However, the buyer doesn't want me to ship it till next week because they're out of town. I'm probably gonna get a little ding on eBay, but I've been doing enough volume where I don't think it's gonna hurt my metrics, so that's okay. And one Amazon sale. The insoles, these sold actually for $40. This is one of the better pairs. So definitely cash flowing on this buy from Gander Mountain. We also sold original Tetris for $13 on Amazon. Not bad. And I did get a package yesterday from a subscriber from KAP, CAP. So thank you, CAP. Scissors always wins against packages. And this one's heavy. Dear Eric, I'm a subscriber to your YouTube channel. I've been following you for a couple years now and always enjoyed your content. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm also a fellow reseller and I've been into the auto parts business for about two decades and I've been selling online during most of that time in the past two years. I've expanded to non-automotive mainly through Amazon FBA. So you along with others have been very informative. I hope you find some of the enclosed items useful. In your daily vlogs, I saw that you are prepping your recently acquired Kia Sedona for van life. Here are some items that you were in search of. If you don't want to go ahead with the mounting process. Don't feel bad about tossing or possibly reselling. These are some remnants that were picked from a van that we parted, so chances are they are going to be scrapped soon anyways. If you need any other help with items, let me know. Thank you so much, Kyle. He gave me his phone number in case I need to call or text him. What do we got? Oh, they're the headrests. Seriously. Oh, that's so awesome. You got, and the piece that's broken. Oh my gosh, this is so, Dude, this is actually really thoughtful. My broken switch that I was working on that I like could not fix correctly, he mailed me the working one. Does it work? Oh, it works. Every single time. Awesome, these are for the rear seats or for the front seats or something. But I was missing the headrests, dude, that's so awesome. Uh, we got lug nuts, that's good in case something busts. We got whatever these are called, they're relays I think. Bulbs are good because bulbs blow, so this will go in the van. And then there's something else big in here. What is this? Is this the TV? This is not the TV. It feels heavy like a TV. This is a genuine Kia Sedona option for the 2004 to 2006 models. Unfortunately, it's missing the remote and the wiring harness has been cut and I don't have the schematics. They may be available online, but then again, there are other factors that may cause you not to go ahead with the project. I know your van has a sunroof and not sure if it would cause a problem. Also, you would have to cut into the headliner and I know that you can go wrong if not done correctly. So don't feel bad about not mounting it. I know you mentioned that you wish you had the option in one of your vlogs. I did wish I had the TV option. It's the TV for the Kia. Oh, with a DVD player installed. Does it have an input? Gosh, Kia makes stuff so cheap. Like these plastic pieces are so cheap feeling. Okay, so it does have an input. It's got the TV. I honestly don't know if I'm going to undertake the TV. Thank you so much, Kyle. Kyle caught me completely off guard with Kia parts. This is so awesome. I got a couple of the seats that are actually in the garage. Perfect fit. These are actually a lot cleaner than the ones that I have. Ta-da! Oh wow. Look, it's so much cleaner than like the leather that I have. This one is just so clean, dude. You must have parted out a really nice van that just got totaled or something. Um, what are we looking like? The, I know the DB player goes like right here. I don't think I'm going to tackle that project. I'll probably find one at a, th I've seen them, I've seen them before at thrift and garage sales. Ones that you like hang off the back here and it makes a DVD player here. The main thing is I need the, I need inputs. That one would be perfect if I could install it easily, but I need those, the video inputs so I can test consoles, DVD players, VCRs, those kind of things when I'm in the van. So I'm gonna try to look for one on the back here. So thanks everyone who has commented on the Boston Celtics jacket, it is sick. I am mailing it to my friend Ethan, he's in Los Angeles. I didn't tell him I'm mailing it to him, I just am. So Evan, please don't tell him until a couple of days or a week because I might not get it out until then. Ethan doesn't watch the vlog, so he won't know that it's coming, but it's, I think it's his, I think it'll be his size, it's a large. He's a big dude, but 
it's not like a small large. It's actually pretty big. It fits a little big on me and he's a little bit bigger than me. So I think it'll fit him. Please Evan, don't tell Ethan yet. We're gonna go to Lowe's, get some boxes for, for the secret FBA toys, which are behind my arm so I can ship off those. And my mom wants to get a proper piece of plywood for this window for the future hurricane seasons. So I'm gonna get that as well. I have the dimensions, they're gonna cut it. There's two thrifts on the route, so we'll hit up those two thrifts too. And Ethan gave me this road mic that he, we found, he found when I was there at a thrift in Los Angeles. It was at an out of the closet, which has like a store next to a store. They're like both out of the closet. They share a wall, but it's like two separate stores. And it was in Los Angeles, California. It was like $6. And this is like $199 microphone new. Used, they go for like 180 or something. So he, he's like paranoid that I'm gonna sell it. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna use that thing until it breaks. And then I'm gonna sell it when it breaks. My mom texted me, said there's a pizza, the school that she works at. So I'm at the school and hopefully there's gonna be a pizza. Where'd they give you the pizza? There you go. I didn't give it to me. I bought it. It was oh. leftover. Oh, is it still hot? It's still hot. Yeah, I love you. Did you get the stuff? No, I was on my way there. So if you don't already know, I am on a bulk, which is when you stop caring about everything that you're eating and you're just trying to consume calories to put on weight. Fat weight, muscle weight, whatever. So I have been eating like crap the last couple days and it will continue temporarily. It's requested one half inch plywood and we gotta get a cut to the dimensions. 0.438 inches will round up to 0.5. This piece is like warped like crazy. It is not straight at all. Look at that. You gotta find a straighter piece. We're going with our OSD sheeting, press board, particle board. At least it's straight. It's like $18 a piece. Oh, I went the wrong way. Dang it. Hey, they don't make plywood that wide. That's why we don't have one on that window plan. Mom says she doesn't even like that window, so she hopes the hurricanes bust that window out. No plywood. Oh my god, he's got a side camera. That is super awesome. An amazing sprinter van parked next. All right, we're gonna go to two thrifts before we go back home. And then we'll get ready for the gym. Coast Humane Society Trift. $29.99. MFC 788-7860DW. The D means duplex, which means it can print both sides, and the W means wireless, and it says wireless right there anyways. Uh, this should be a good buy for 30 bucks. I really like the manual feed trays for Amazon. Some paper in it, we're gonna do a test and see if it does a print test. Found a nice outlet to plug it in, test it with. All right, she boots, perfectly fine. And this is a nice, easy one to test because I got a menu. I can just scroll through here. Do print reports, print report. Press start, and it prints good. Page counter, That's the only, it's only printed 400 pages. This thing's a baby. Drum life, 98%. It's a really good machine. We're gonna grab it. And here's the moment of truth. I didn't even look it up. I've sold and bought so many printers in the past. 1,012 reviews. A great rank in office products. Used as cheapest as 270. There's a refurbished for 190. I'll probably get 200 for it and I'll be using it in the meantime. A lot of people ask what is the best printer to get for Amazon FBA. I don't want to direct them to an affiliate link because I have never, actually it's not true. I have bought, I have bought new printers before but not very many, and I bought them when they were super on sale and I probably made money off of them. Um, or just bought them because they were so cheap or I needed one at the time. But I find laser printers, monochrome printers, once in a while, they are workhorses. Samsung, Brother, HP, Lexmark, Dell. Those, they make pretty good consumer level and office level, like low to mid entry computer, fax machines, blah, 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 blah. The technology hasn't changed in like 25 years for the most part. Some of the newer stuff has like that, that e-print. This is a duplex wireless. It's a no brainer for 30 bucks. It's a baby with 400 page count. Like it has only printed 400 pages in its life. So it's what I usually do is I'll buy more than one printer 
and then I'll list them both and whichever one sells first, I will ship that one and then just use the other one. We'll be using it in the meantime while it's listed, everybody wins and it's going to sell for good money. Keep an eye out for laser printers at your thrift to use them yourself, give them to people, or to sell them on Amazon or eBay. They are good money. Electronics is one of the more competitive genres or niches of resale, and it's, it's something where I don't mind going to the thrift every day and just looking at the electronics because those things are gonna get scooped up the same day that they're put out or within a couple of days while the other resellers make their rounds. Hey, we are going to Goodwill. I love it when they come with the remotes because it means that the previous owner kind of cared about it a little bit, took care of it. it. Does have some wear on the power button and on the top, not a big deal, $12.99. We will pop and I'm also gonna pop on this. This is a nice 22 inch small screen TV, 1080p with the remote and it's got two HDMI ports on the back. So I might actually use this for the van. Not 100% sure yet, but for 20 bucks, I think it's a pretty good snag. And check out the amount of value that I'm getting from this TV. It's 10 times cheaper. This one's 199, but it's not 10 times smaller, and it has the remote. It's not an amazing brand, but it's 1080p, and this person took really good care of it. There's no scratches on the screen, no scratches on the bezel, and they kept the remote with it, like a good uh, user should. The pride and ownership is right here. And I could go grab an AV cord, and hook up the TV, VCR to the TV and play it. But I'm pretty confident with the remotes coming with it that the previous owner took care of these decently and that they will both work perfectly when we get home. And if not, I'm gonna get a double trombone. And we are also going to cop the Etsy exclusive New York Islanders with no cracking. This thing is beautiful. The tag looks like it's never been. 40 bucks for an HD TV. No trombone. And I got my AAA membership. The highest tier premier. In case my van breaks down, I can get towed somewhere. It was 120 bucks a year, so that's not bad. <laughs> Nothing like a middle of the day cash flow sale. This was a pair of shoelaces got from Gander Mountain, sold for $10 on Amazon. It's actually about 345 right now. I'm heading towards Northport to go to the bins and gym. Thrift and lift or bins and gym. And then I'm gonna swing by Home Depot because I actually forgot my FBA boxes at Lowe's because I was so hung up on uh, that piece of plywood that I completely forgot about my boxes. So I'm gonna go get some boxes and then get my FBA shipment ready to be dropped off tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get to a student loan update video today. That might be tomorrow. At the Northport Goodwill retail store. I didn't get my mom a birthday present. So here is the Dyson she's been wanting. This is actually really, really clean, surprisingly. For a vacuum at a thrift store, it's the ball. Dyson DC 25. These suckers are like 200 bucks now. So we'll get it. I feel like Marge Simpson from the Simpsons arcade where she's like attacking the bad guys with the vacuum cleaner. She didn't have a Dyson because it was in the 90s. She had like an Auric. Mom will be happy on that. I wanted to find one for like $6.99, like the one in Austin, but this one's clean. It's the animal version. I plugged it in and it power tested. Hopefully all the functions work correctly and it's giving the right amount of suction. We'll, uh, my mom will thoroughly test it and clean it when we get home and hopefully it won't be a trombone. It is time now to go to the gym. There was nothing at the bins, not even any good scrap, nothing. And I almost left the retail store with nothing either, but the vacuum cleaner was a good find. Just got done with my Thursday workout on Friday, brought to you by Bonafide Hustler. I actually was a lot more focused today. I left my phone in the car, I left my camera in the car. No headphones, no nothing, no music. Just straight up piece of paper and a bottle of water. And I was like 100% more focused than I am normally like watching vlogs, answering comments. That's the flip side of how I've been doing it. One, piddling on the phone, doing auxiliary work and getting about a 60, 70% workout in or dropping everything, focusing 100% on the workout and getting a 90 to 100% intensity workout in. I'm curious if anyone out there has fitness goals. If you're trying to gain weight, lose weight, tone up. I know John Hardesty was walking a lot at one point. Are you still doing that? And then anyone else that's watching this, if you have fitness goals or you're trying to start fitness goals drop them in the comments let me know where you are at on a scale of like one to five towards your fitness goals and what steps you're taking to um to start the journey if anything i'm gonna drive back home i think my mom will be home we'll surprise her with the vacuum cleaner 
What are you watching? Oh! Yay! A Dyson. You're gonna do it like Sears? We're making oh a mess. my gosh. She's throwing steel cutouts on the floor. Isn't yeah, that I'll, fancy? Take, I'll take it apart and wash it, all the parts that can be washed. It's more compact than the other one too, they shrank okay, it down. Why am I not, why, why isn't it? There you go. There. It oh, to... you gotta push this down, okay. So mom's cleaning the dice and stuff, she's soaking it. Odor ban. It wasn't that dirty, but it did smell a little bit like dog dander when we were, or animal dander when we were running it. So she's soaking it, I think that's dander juice, dander soup. It'll get all clean, and then that sucker will be like brand spanking new tomorrow. Was working on an FBA shipment, but I got distracted. I have noticed a vibration developing in the van, and it's between like 30 and 50 upon acceleration. When I'm cruising or when I'm braking, it's smooth, but upon acceleration, I have, it's this like awful vibration that is pretty much, it feels like it's getting worse, honestly, throughout the entire cabin. It wasn't doing this before I was working on the car. I was pounding on the CV axles to get them out. That pounding, I think, may have transferred to the joints a certain, I was putting a lot of force on them, transferred to the joints a certain way. It's an issue that might have been developing before that, I don't know. It seems like... The fair amount of people online have this issue with the Kia Sedona, the vibration, and it seems to go away after you replace the CV axles. I replaced the left side. It's not very difficult to do. I think I'm going to do the right side as well and see if that solves the issue. It's not an expensive part. Fortunately, it's about $36 off of eBay, or I can go ahead and get the Napa. For about $15 or $20 more, I can get the Napa version, the Napa axle and that will have a lifetime warranty on it. So I'm debating what I'm gonna do there. Tomorrow, Saturday, I wanna do the loan payment update tomorrow. I do have some eBay, Etsy, and green room income that I can throw at the loan. So I think I'm gonna do that. Appreciate everyone for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye.